Today, I'm gonna to show you something really helpful that'll definitely get you new leads for your business. I'll be showing you how to scrape email leads from Google Maps based off location. Imagine pulling an entire list of restaurants, gyms, or doctors in your city. And then boom, having all their contact information on a Google Sheets or an Excel spreadsheet. So today we are gonna show you how to do this. All you need is an internet connection, a free account with NNN, and you're good to go. Now notice how I said we. So I invited someone on my channel. This guy is an expert with NNN, and here he is. Oh, sh that, that's not Joey. This is Joey. Okay, well, thank you for the intro, Daryl. I'll just remind me to send an email to you, editor. Anyway, I'm Joey, and I've been helping online businesses with their automation for over seven years, and I'll be your NA10 guy for this tutorial today. So grab your favorite coffee, hit that like button, and Joey's gonna walk you through how to do this step by step. So uh, Joey, yeah, go ahead, dude. Yeah, all right, so let's get into the good stuff then. Okay, so as Daryl said, I'm gonna show you how to do this in NA10, and don't worry if you've never used it because I'm gonna go very slow and show you the step by step. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is that we're trying to scrap information from local businesses based on a location and a keyword. And I live in London, so this is what I'm looking at here, but here is how it could be useful to you. So let's say that you're selling social media services for hairdressers. Well, it'd be great to be able to have lists of all of those people in a specific area and then be able to run a very targeted campaign. And that's exactly what we're trying to set up here. So let's jump into NA10. And before we get into it, let's just try and map this out quickly just to see what we're trying to do here in the end. So we're going to trigger the automation. And then the first step is going to be to scrape Google Map. After that, we have a couple options. Uh, we can either just store this in a Google Sheet or if we want it, we can just go ahead and send a message to those people. And we'll see how to do this later, but that's pretty much what we're trying to do here. Okay, so how do we scrape Google Map? Well, there are many ways to do this, but one of the easiest one is gonna to be to use Apify and one of their actor. So Apify, if you don't know, is just a marketplace for different API and scrappers. And you can do a bunch of different things. You can scrap TikTok, particular websites, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. But what we're trying to do today is to scrap Google Maps. So this is the one that we're gonna use. And this is what it looks like. Now, keep in mind, this isn't free and you will pay uh, $4 for a thousand places. Now, Probably if you're just running really local campaigns, this isn't going to cost you much and it's definitely going to be worth it. Just be aware that you'll need to put a bit of money on API so that it actually works. Okay, so the way this works is that we're going to pick a term and we're going to pick a location and then we're going to pick how many places we're trying to extract. And then we're going to start a scrapper and in return, it's going to give us a list with the information about all of those businesses. So don't worry, we're going to go back to NA10 in a bit, but we need to first sort this out so that it works and then we send it to our workflow. Okay, so let's go with our earlier example and try to target hairdressers. Now I'm going to go with New York here, but obviously you can go into much more details. And if you use a tool that you can find right here, you'll be able to find a very specific area wherever you're looking. So this can be as targeted as you want it. And then there's a bunch of add-ons and extra filters and categories that you can target for. And these are gonna cost you a bit of extra money, so just be aware of that. Uh, but this is just another way to make this a bit more specific and get exactly what you want. Okay, so let's run this so you can see what it looks like. And here we go, so it took 11 seconds and it cost me about two pennies. And here are the information that I was able to scrap. So we have the name of the business, their Google review score, their address their website, and then the exact URL of their Google Map uh, listing. So that's looking good. And obviously, if you were just trying to get a very simple list of this, you can just go ahead and export and you would be done. But obviously, what we're trying to do here is to get this into our workflow so that we can manipulate it and we can then trigger other actions going on from there. Okay, so this is the manual way to do this. And obviously, now all I have to do is to send that information into my workflow and then I'll be able to do whatever I want. Afterwards, I'm going to show you the automated way to do this, but let's just start with this. Okay, so now that we have this here, what we're trying to do is to take it and send it to our workflow. Now, obviously, uh, we want this to be as automated as possible. And in just a second, I'm going to show you how to do this automatically through NA10 without having to go in here. But let's take it slowly and do it a bit manually so that we understand how this works. So we have the run here and I'm trying to send this to NA10. So for this, I'm going to use the API endpoint, which is going to be to get the last run data set items. So this is the API. API endpoint that I need. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this and switch back to NA10. So now in NA10, 
10, we're going to need to be calling that API endpoint. And to do that, we're going to need to use an HTTP request node right here. And I'm going to go here and paste the endpoint that I had. Now you'll note that part of the URL is going to be my specific token. So that's going to be whatever yours is in your account. Don't try to steal this one because obviously I'm going to disable this after the recording. But whenever you are here and copying, it will copy the token along with it. But when you're in here and copying this URL, it will copy your token right here and you just have to paste it over. And so let's go ahead and execute this. And as we can see, we have all of our businesses, everything we scrapped, pulling over, and that's exactly what we wanted. So from here, let's just say that I want to send this over to a Google Sheets. So I'm going to add a new node for Google Sheets, and I'm trying to append a row in a sheet. So let's go ahead and set up this node. All I have to do is just to select my Google Sheet right here, and I'm just going to go ahead with the first list that I have. And this is the Google Sheet right here. With the fields that I want to pull, obviously, I'm just going to keep it simple and just have the name, link, and address for now. And we can see those fields are pulling right here in an A10. So it has detected my Google Sheets, and it has also detected the different fields and columns that we have. So all I have to do from here is just to map it out from our output of data right here. So the name is going to be the title. The link is going to be uh, the website, but it can be whatever you want it. And the address is right here. Obviously, you can put a lot more, but just for this example, I'm going to pull those three fields and go ahead and execute the step. And here we go. So let's look at our Google Sheets. And I have all of the information that I wanted pulled through to my Google Sheets. And then from here, I can do whatever I want. Now, as I mentioned before, Google Maps doesn't expose the email for those people and they don't have to uh, put it into the listing. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and manually try to find those emails. So if I click into this salon right here, I could go and manually try to find those emails. Uh, I could find this one right here. Or if you're using the Hunter EO um, extension on Chrome, that's another way to find those as well. And then just grab this and add it to my Google Sheet. Now, another way to do this automatically would be to find another scrapper to add it to our workflow and sort of enrich this list. And there are several in Epify. It will cost you quite a bit of money to do this on a large list. And I think it's better to just manually uh, explore who those potential clients are and maybe find a bit more. But if you wanted to really make this all automated, that's an option. So just like we did with the Google map scrapper you could add another step into our workflow here and add this email scrapper for the website and then just update the google sheets and do this automatically again it's going to cost you quite a bit so i don't think it's necessarily uh, the best way to go about it but that's an option okay so as i said this is the manual way to do this if you want to have a bit more control if you want to just see how much you spend and you don't want to let it run wild and just do whatever it wants but if you are more confident and want to do this automatically here is how we would do this so let me just go ahead and delete those and now i'm going to go ahead and add the uh, API node, which will allow me directly from an A10 to run the actor and then get the data set. So this way, instead of running first the actor inside of API and then getting data, I'm doing all of that directly from an A10 without having to do anything over there. And we're going to need to set this up. So if you have never used this node before, you're going to need to integrate your API account. This should only take a couple minutes. Then I'm going to trigger an actor to run and then to get me the data set. And then I'll be able to select from a list of actor inside of my account. So this is the one that we want. And then I'm going to need a JSON. So these are essentially the parameters for how to run this actor. So we have the action to run the actor. Now we need to set up the parameters for exactly what we want. So Let's go back to API and just like before, we did a manual run. Now we can do a JSON run uh, with all of those information and that's going to be what we copy over. Now, keep in mind that if you want to change the keyword, if you want to change the location, obviously that's going to change the JSON. So every time you make an update or just want to run a different kind of run, then just remember to uh, first update here and then get the new JSON. But again, this is what we're going to copy over. So I'm going to click on copy, come back here, and then just paste it here. And so let's run this node to see what happens. Essentially, if I go back here and I go to my runs, I can see that triggering this run inside of NA10 has triggered it inside of API and we can see it running right here. And it just finished right here. So pretty much the same amount of time and the same price. I can see this data being directly pulled in any 10 without me having to do anything else. 
it's going to be the output of this node. And now I can go ahead and, you know, store it in Google Sheets or do something else. So obviously this is easier, but just be careful and run it a few times manually to understand how this works and what you're doing. And then you can move to this way of doing things. Now from here, obviously you can run this a few different ways. I just had this as a manual trigger, but you can also run this on a schedule. So for example, every Monday at 8 a.m. And every Monday you can wake up and have a fresh list of prospects and people you can reach out to. Uh, to sell your product or services. I hope this was helpful. Do let me know if you have any questions on this workflow in the comments. Uh, obviously, we have the community where you can ask me questions over there, and we have a bunch more of these tutorials. So go ahead and check this out. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Now, this was just one of the very many workflows that you can learn in our school. So in the video description, we have a school. And in our school, we'll actually walk you through the fundamentals of NNN. We talk about how to build practical workflows, NNN for clients, and we have an entire school dedicated to NNN. So if you do want to learn more about NNN, I'll put our school in the video description. But with that said, good luck on your journey, and I'll see you all later.